Hi everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to fully validate a phone number in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using the Cloudmersive Data Validation Connector. Now to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow and type in a name for the flow. Then we will select Manually Trigger a Flow and press Create. Now we're ready to begin. The first and only step of our process is selecting the phone number validation function. To do this, we will look up the Cloudmersive Data Validation Connector, which is the blue icon here, and select Validate a Phone Number. Note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now we have the option to input the two-digit country code for the phone number. The default code is US, so if you have a phone number that is for a country other than the United States, you will be required to input the country code. Next, we can input the phone number to validate. This is the only step needed to perform this function, so we are ready to click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. It will take a moment to save your information, but once it's complete, we can click the Test button in the top right-hand corner. We will choose the manual option for testing the file, hit the second test button, and then continue. After that, we will click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, we will see green check marks next to the connector showing that the flow worked. Once the process is complete, we can click on the action step to view our results. We can see that the function provided the validity, type, E164 format, international format, national format, country code, and country name for the phone number. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.